I speak with human eloquence and angelic ecstasy, but don't love, I'm nothing but the creaking of a rusty gate. If I speak God's word with power, revealing all of his mysteries and making everything plain as day, and if I have faith that says this mountain jump, and it jumps, but I don't love, I'm nothing. If I give everything I own to the poor and even go to the stake to be burned as a martyr, but I don't love, I've gotten nowhere. So no matter what I say, what I believe, and what I do, I'm bankrupt without love. You see, love never gives up. Love cares more for others than for self. Love doesn't want what it doesn't have. Love doesn't strut. It doesn't have a swelled up head. It doesn't force itself on others. It isn't always me first. Love doesn't fly off the hander. It doesn't keep score of the sins of others. It doesn't revel when others grovel. Love takes pleasure in the flowering of truth. It puts up with anything. It trusts God always. Love always looks for the best. It never looks back, but keeps going to the end. Because love never dies. Dear me, Father, we just thank you for this day. That's right now you bless us, Father, and are just with us today as we go on this journey. Um, Father, we just thank you so much just for this opportunity. And we understand that just that you've given us um, a path, Father, and you've given us a goal for the future. And we just ask right now that you are just with us and give us the tools, give us the wisdom to complete that goal. And just allow us to have a relationship, Father, that is completely under your will, Father, and one that's pleasing you. Father, I just thank you for this beautiful woman you've given me. And just, just for everything that I've given that I've not deserved, but you've blessed me when I did not deserve it. I ask right now that you were with her, Father, that she is able to enjoy every moment of today and that she's able to take those deep breaths and take everything in. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Father, what a wonderful day that you have given us at this time, Lord God, that we're witnessing something beautiful that you have brought together. You ordained this. You saw in the beginning where they would be at this very hour. We thank you for that, Father. But most of all, Father God, we thank you for this day. We can't thank you enough, Father, for bringing them together as a couple, Father God, at this very hour. Yes, we ask your blessings upon them, and may they continue to keep you at the forefront of their hearts, Lord God, and be led by you. And we give you praise and honor and glory for who you are and what you're doing in your precious name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. As a minister in the Wesleyan Church by the state of Missouri, I pronounce you husband and wife, and Kenneth, for the first time anywhere, you can kiss your wife. First, introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Kenneth Osler. Yeah.